Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang trigonometric formula for integral calculus part 2. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ituturo ko sa inyo ay yung part 2 ng ating trigonometric formula for integral calculus. Kasi dun sa part 1, yung kinonsider lang natin is yung mga integral ng trigonometric functions na na-derive doon sa derivative ng trigonometric functions. So, ito yung particular na tiniscuss natin doon, right? So, ngayon, meron tayong additional formula na idadagdag which is na-derive nung natutunan natin yung concept ng integral ng 1 over x, which is magkakaroon tayo ng natural logarithm, right? So, ito yung magiging additional formula natin for integral ng trigonometric functions. So, integral ng tan x dx is equal to ln of second x plus c. Integral ng cot x dx is equal to ln of sin x plus c. Integral ng second x dx is equal to ln of second x plus tan x plus c and integral ng cosecant x dx is equal to ln of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c. Okay, so, ito kasi sa part 1, hindi pa natin nalalaman yung integral ng 1 over x. Ang consider lang natin is power formula for integral ng x raised to n dx where n is not equal to negative 1. So, kaya hinalik ko tong part 2 kasi at least alam na natin yung concept ng integral ng 1 over x which is yung natural logarithm. So, dito sa part 2 natin, uh, gagamitin pa rin natin itong mga trigonometric identities para masolve yung definite integral ng, ng different trigonometric functions in case na kailanganin natin. Okay, so sige, start tayo mag-solve ng examples. So, we have number 1, integral of tan ln x over x dx. Okay, so dito pala, kailangan din natin gamitin yung u substitution. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong ln x dun sa tan x as well as meron tayong over x. So, automatic, papasok agad sa isip nyo, pwede natin ilet yun dyan yung ln x. Kasi kapag dinerivative natin itong ln x, we have du over dx is equal to 1 over x. So, kapag kinross multiply ko si dx, we have du is equal to dx over x. Which is, ito yun, di ba? Okay? So, pwede na natin i-substitute. So, we have integral ng tan. Yung ln x is ito ng u. So, we have tan u. And then, itong dx over x equal na siya sa du. So, therefore, we have tan u du. So, ano integral ng tan nyo du? Referring dito sa table, we have integral ng tan x dx is ln second x plus c. So, we have integral nitong tan nyo du is ln second u plus c. Okay? Where in yung u natin, dapat ibalik natin in terms of x which is equal sa ln x. So, therefore, we have, we have ln of second of ln x plus c. Next, we have integral of cotangent square root of t over square root of t dt. Okay, so, automatic, papasok agad sa isip nyo na ililet yun natin is itong square root of t, right? Kasi meron tayong square root of t sa denominator. So, equal to sa u is equal to t raised to 1 half, right? Transforming into fractional exponent. So, pag derivative natin, we have du over dx is equal to 1 half power formula t raised to 1 half minus 1 or negative 1 half. So, we have du over dx is equal to 1 over 2 t raised to 1 half kasi negative exponent sa so ibababa natin. Or simply, parang square root of t na nga. Tapos, i-cross multiply ko si dx. du is equal to 1 over 2 square root of t dx. So, meron na tayong dt over square root of 2. So, ito yon. So, para ma-isolate si 2, multiply ko both sides by 2. So, 2 du is equal to dx over square root of t. Okay. So, pwede na natin i-substitute. So, we have integral ng 
cotangent, yung square root of t, ito na mismong u, tapos yung dx over square root of t, ito na yung 2du. So, we have 2 times du. So, since yung 2 is constant, pwede kong igilid. So, 2 integral ng cotangent u du. So, referring dito sa formula, ano integral ng cotangent u du? So, dito sa cotangent x dx, equal siya sa ln of sin x plus c. So, equal siya sa 2 ln of sin u plus c. And then, balik natin in terms of x yung u, which is square root of t. So, 2 ln of sin square root of t plus c. Okay? Next, we have integral of 1 minus cosine 2x over sin 2x dx. Okay, so ang pwede natin gawin dito is i-distribute muna natin itong denominator sa 1 minus cosine 2x. So, magiging integral ng 1 over sin 2x minus cosine 2x over sin 2x dx. Then, tsaka natin i-apply yung identity. Ano yung 1 over sin 2x? Cosecant 2x. Minus, ano yung cosine 2x over sin 2x? Cotangent 2x dx. So, distribute natin yung integral tsaka yung dx. We have integral ng cosecant 2x dx minus integral ng cotangent 2x dx. Right? So, meron na tayong formula dito, right? Sa cosecant tsaka cotangent. So, sa cotangent, ln sin x. Sa cosecant, ln cosecant x minus cotangent x plus c. Pero, dahil meron pa tayong 2x, kailangan muna natin i-let u be equal to 2x. Kasi dapat x lang yun nandito, di ba? So, du over dx is equal to 2. Or simply, du is equal to 2 dx. So, divide natin both sides by 2 para dx is equal to du over 2. Sa so substitute natin, we have integral ng cosecant 2x is u, tapos yung dx is du over 2. Minus integral ng cotangent 2x is u times yung dx, same lang na du over 2. So, igigilid natin yung constant na over 2, parang 1 half integral ng cosecant u, du minus integral ng so, 1 half integral ng cot u du. Labasin natin yung 1 half nung cotangent. So, apply na natin yung formula sa taas. Integral ng cosecant u du is 1 half ln of cosecant u minus cotangent u. Tama, di ba? Kasi meron pa tayong isang form nito eh. Negative ln of cosecant x plus cotangent x plus C. So, same lang yun dito. So, kahit anong gamitin nyo, okay lang. So, ito na lang gamitin natin. Minus 1 half. Ano integral ng cot u du? Ln sin u. Right? Plus C. So, pwede natin ibalik yung u in terms of x na simply 2x lang. ba? So, we have 1 half ln of cosecant u. Yung u is 2x nga. Minus cot u which is 2x minus 1 half ln of sin u na 2x then plus c. Okay, so therefore, pwede na tong final answer. Okay? Next, we have integral of e raised to x over cosine 2 e raised to x dx. Okay, so since meron tayong e raised to x dx sa numerator, pwede natin ilet yu dito yung 2 e raised to x. Kasi kapag dinerivative natin to, same lang na du over dx is 2 e raised to x. Or, du is equal to 2 e raised to x dx. So, para ma-isolate si 2, divide natin both sides by 2. du over 2 is simply equal to e raised to x dx. So, ito na yun, di ba? So, pwede natin palitan. Integral ng Itong e raised to x dx, itong ang du over 2. Tapos 1 over itong cosine, yun na lang. Kasi 2 e raised to x is u. So, 1 over cosine u. So, parang itong 1 half, igilid ko, integral ng du over cos u. 
So, apply natin yung identity. 1 half integral. 1 over cos u is second u, right? So, we have 1 half integral ng second u du. So, meron tayong integral nito. Ano yon Base dito sa formula. ln of second x plus tan x. So, therefore, we have 1 half ln of second u plus tan u plus c. Ibalik natin yung u in terms of x, we have 2 e raised to x. So, 1 half ln of second 2 e raised to x plus tangent 2 e raised to x plus c. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have integral of cosecant x over x plus 1 over quantity x plus 1 squared dx. So, ano kayang magandang u substitution dito? So, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong x over x plus 1 sa cosecant as well as meron tayong denominator na x plus 1 quantity squared. So, malamang kapag ito yung nilet yun natin, x over x plus 1, pag derivative natin to magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 1 quantity squared by the quotient rule for derivative. Di ba yung square natin yung denominator nun? So, try natin. So, makakaproduce tayo nito. So, du over dx is equal to, so yung denominator is square natin, and then copy mo nun si denominator, x plus 1 times derivative ng numerator na 1, minus, this time copy naman si numerator na x, derivative natin tong denominator na x plus 1, which is 1 lang din. So, we have simplify natin, x plus 1 times 1 is x plus 1 pa rin, minus x over x plus 1 quantity squared. So, makakancel si x. So, matitira is du over dx is 1 over x plus 1 quantity squared. Okay. So, therefore, meron tayong makukuhang dx over x plus 1 quantity squared. So, cross multiply ko si dx. du lang pala siya. dx over 1 plus, plus x quantity squared. So, ito sa substitute natin sa dx over x plus 1 quantity squared, itong du lang. So, parang, simple lang, integral ng cosecant, itong x over x plus 1, yung mismo, tapos dx over x plus 1 quantity squared is simply du. So, integral lang ng cosecant yung du. Which is kanina, nakuha natin ng integral nyan is ln of cosecant u minus cotangent u plus c. So, balik natin yung u sa x, magiging ln of cosecant u is x over x plus 1 minus cotangent u which is x over x plus 1 then plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Or pwede rin yung other form nga, yung negative ln of cosecant u. So cosecant x over x plus 1 plus cotangent u, which is x over x plus 1 then plus c. Same lang yan. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video. Trigonometric formula for integral calculus part 2. So, kabisaduhin nyo lang yung uh, table of formula for, for the integral of trigonometric functions. And then, mag-practice lang kayong mag-solve ng integral. Then, mamamaster nyo na yung topic na to. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.